Shalom Aluka. Shalom Aleka to all. And, and Shalom Aluka to everybody. <laughs> to everybody. Uh, Shama, Shamai, my name is Abdu. I'm here to, to speak about this Aramaic, the ancient Aramaic. Welcome to the ancient Aramaic. I'm here to speak about the the alphabet here, to show the alphabet to the world. I put Aramaic a Judah. That's the language where Yahshua speaks. And I'm gonna get ready to begin and show you, cause um, every alphabet don't have no, no, no vowels. So I'm gonna show it and speak it without no vowels. Ah, you see, I put from the, and also to, to remind y'all, I put also from east and west, and I put them together, and uh, right here in this board. That, I, that I'm ready to teach y'all this Aramaic, Aramaic, Ar Aramaic alphabet with no vowels. Ah, known as known as Al, as Al, not L, not L. The bus I say El Shaddad and stuff like that. L, no, no L. There's no E. This is A. You see? Ah. From the east. Ah. ah. From the west. Ba. No, that's what they call it. Like you say, ba. Or bet. It's bit. What they used to say, bit. This is ba. With vowels, they say bit. But with this, is ba. Ba. Ga, gamo, what we say gamma, gamma, that's a regular, with the vowels, but without the vowels, it's ga. I'm sorry for blocking your way. Ga, ga. This is da. This is da, from the east, and da. For the West. Same thing as Ga. Ha. Ha. We say He. In vowels, we say He. But with no vowels, Ah. Ha. 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 Ha from the East. Ha for the West. Same. This is this is different. It looks similar to each other. The only thing is different is big and small. This is wa. 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 This is za. Za. Now with wa, you know with vowels they must have say wa with w a w add up to it. And za, what they used to call it zing, but it's za. But it's za. With no vowels, it's za. Same thing with wa, no vowels. Ha. Hot. Hot. Ha. Like you said, ha. Ha. Not with. With this word, not with this letter, say ha, with the C. There's no C to that. That's why I put it there to so so it could give you the picture of phrase and show you the from the from the regular from the regular Yiddish writing where they use the word ha. Especially Pi legal, they use that. But um that's not the correct way because you know uh Pi legal is not the same with Aramaic. They're not part of the Aramaic family. Ha. Ha, ha from the east, ha from the west, ha, ta, 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 this is ta, ya, 
Ya. This is ya. Ya. As you see it, ya. Ka. As I put these three together, ya used to be known as yord. Ka used to be known as ka with the vowels. That's with the vowels. Without the vowel, it's ka. Without the vowels in the word, where yod is ya. The real word is ya. La. This is la. La. And this is ma. But let me go back a little bit because I kind of spaced out. I understand I throw y'all off with the ka. Ka, you got three different type of octopus that's still part of the same family is Ar Aramaic. Ka, if you see this letter in writing, it's ka. If you see that writing over here, it's ka. If you see this one, ka. That's from the, from the, from the, from the west, ka. From the east, ka. Still, like between, ka. La. This is la. No, as la mat. La. It's la. La. Ma. This is ma. You see those three difference? Ma. From the east, both. Both between and ma from the west. Ma. It's ma. This one here, the one I want to show you that everyone, they put it as noon, whether they call it noon or not. But it's not very corrected in the in Aramaic, it's not really corrected. It's supposed to be known as shock. Which why it's shock. Because this one here says shh. It's like shh. Shock. 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 Same as here. Shock. If you see this word, shock. This is sha. 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 We use the word sameka. Semka, 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 semka. But when you read, you say semka, semka. You say semka, semka. See, semka, semka for the east, and semka for the west. As we used to wear sha, semka, semka. No sha, shimka, sorry. Shimka. <laughs> this is new. This is supposed to be new. Na. Known as na. 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 A lot of people want to know, say, it's supposed to be I. But there's no E in vowels. Where you get that E come from? E never been this during that time in ancient Aramaic. Is na pa like you say pe with the vowels it say pe without the vowel it's pa pa sa da sa da sa da sa da kwa sa da for the east, sada for the west. Sa, sa, da, sada. Kwa, this is kwa. Kwa, that's you, it's with vowels, they say quo. Remember, without vowels, it's kwa. Ra, this is ra. Ra, ra, ra. Rock from the east, rock from the west. Sha and sha. 
Sha. Sha. With the H, with the SH. Sha. 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 To. 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 And the last, the last of the alphabet. Ya. For the Lord. Ya. So all together, ya. That's, this is the language where Yahshua speaks. He speaks Aramaic. And he from Judah. That's why I put Aramaic of Judah. He from Judah. And that's the Judah language. And that's the Jewel word. Judah don't have no vowels. During the Roman kick in, that's when they use vowels. Now, in Palestine, I see the Palestine use this, use this uh, Aramaic, but they never use it, and they never did use it, they never did speak it. They never use it, they speak it, they speak Aramaic. Arabic, Arabic, I mean. I don't want to confuse it. Arabic. They speak Arabic. And they stick with it on every each land. You will see this, you will see this writing from Assyria. And yes, you can say it's in Babylon. No. <laughs> you can say it's Babylon, but the Palestine, they say the Palestine speak this language. But they speak it with vowels. Like they say, like they say welcome, they say, they say Balashina. And it's supposed to be Balashana. But they say Balashina. Balashina means welcome. You see? Balashina is used with the with the vowels because they put with the B comma on top. S H E N A. Without no vowels, it would have say a B and a comma on top with the S H N A. Because you know why? Because it still remain we still remain with the A. Because why is it remaining the A? Because the A is the old old way to pronounce, to say Balashana. You see? Balashana. Still means welcome. Okay? So um no no confusion, no star, no confusion. You know, to let you know that that Palestine, Palestine they, they know that's the Muslims themselves. But this alphabet that's very interesting. Aramaic is very interesting. Aramaic of Judah. Aramaic. The word self by itself. Aramaic that nobody never used. That nobody never teach. They avoid this. Because this is the real Israel language. It's the truth. That's the real Israel language. Yahshua speak that language. And even the Old Testament of the prophets speak this language. Alright? The set, Esau. But I ain't gonna go there because I'm letting you know. This is uh, the ancient Aramaic. And I thank you, y'all, welcome in ancient Aramaic. Because ancient Aramaic means no vowels. That's why I put Aramaic of Judah, because the real Aramaic of Judah and the whole 12 tribes speak Aramaic. From the Old Testament, they speak Aramaic. They don't speak no Yiddish, no Arab. They speak Aramaic. Aramaic. And this is the language I saw I wanted to tell y'all, the whole world. And thank you for, for listening. Always remember, Ah. Ba, ga, da, ha, wa, za, ha, 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 ta, ya, ka, la, ma, shak, shak, shak. Samka, 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 Na, 
pa sada sada ka kwa sorry kwa ra sha to to all together with the mas the ones that's king of the universe ya and ya taba ya tabena taba means thank you and and i have to say when i say ya taba means thank you lord thank you god See? <laughs> ya tabena means bless ya bless so, and that's the truth of a uh, H Aramaic. Thank you, and thank you to all. And I'm your teaching. I do, and thank you. Yatabe, yataba, yata.